Hey, this is Holier Than You Want, and welcome to the Disc 2 finale of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. Start with, out with Final Burst. It's better than the final Getsuga Tensho. At least if you ask me. So we do that. And... Yes, Regol is finished. This fight just got a lot more manageable. Because now we just have Lennis to deal with. And this is going to hurt, isn't it? Isn't it, Lennis? Ha, huh, not really. Yeah, Hachelle is doing good. Let's try Thunder Kid. We've seen the animation before. So we'll just skip that. I mean, better to go out with a bang than a whimper. So we come up to Albert's turn. Attack. We won't need to reinstate Rose Storm, but... We, it would be better that we hit with our max potential. But of course, I can barely manage to get one hit. Or three hits. Got no MP. So just go all out for your last Dragoon attack of the fight. Well, you know what I mean. It's not his last Dragoon attack, but it's his last attack as a Dragoon. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and use my healing rain simply because we have two characters that could do with healing so I don't want to waste two turns on it. Wow, Dart was healed for Satan. That's pretty boss. That's new. Okay, no it's not. Now we're back on the warpath. And four. I guess my additions are right where I want them to be. Considering right where I want them to be is in use. But what about, you know, Kongol and Meru's additions? They'll get used eventually. I don't know if I'll use them too much on screen. Shit, man. That one's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. I hope his next edition isn't that bad, and if his, like other characters, ultimate editions are sucky. I don't know about other characters' editions. Yeah, everyone has an ultimate edition, if I didn't mention. It can only be it can be gotten at the point where in which you've mastered everyone all of their prior editions, so. Whatever level they get their edition, their last non-ultimate edition, is the lowest level they can get their ultimate edition if you're prepared enough. I will not be trying to get them at the lowest level possible, but I will, I will get them. And I actually learned recently, so I thought I'd share this with you guys, for those of you playing along using Shauna. Um, the amount of SP she gets with each hit with her bow is calculated based off of her Dragoon level, so the higher it is, the more SP um, Shauna will get, which is very nice. Although I just can't be bothered investing the time into using her. I mean, why would I? I already can buy more healing than is worth the effort. I'll show off her Dragoon powers. It's her Dragoon match gets some time in space. It's just not in the cards right now. And will you quit using these long animation attacks? Please! I would like to get on with my victory dance. If a shell gets another turn and Albert's still alive, I think I may give him the healing fog. 
she wasn't dealing nearly this much damage my my test of the fight. That's right. Finish it off. Or she can be finished off by Dart. I mean, not like Dart finishes off every major boss fight or something. Albert can tank a hit. <laughs> yeah. Great time to inflict a status ailment is when the boss's fight is the one you inflict it during. He... Okay. Okay, we've got this. The cat's in the bag. Wait, that's referring to keeping a secret, not to... Success. Yes! Because for some reason, Dart always has to have the last laugh. Because he's a douchebag or something. I don't I don't know. And Lennis... Lennis is dying. What are you doing? Are you really, like, in love with Lloyd? Like, what the fuck is your problem, man? He's insane. Shit, she almost got killed there. Because, you know, if you get hit out of battle, you're gonna take a shit ton of life-threatening wound-type damage, not just... Oh, hey! Physical damage! You're, you're gonna die. I mean, look at Eris, man. She died. And Lennis is only thinking about a, someone who will never reciprocate the feelings she has. And so she's... Looking like she's gonna burn up like Omega Weapon in Final Fantasy VIII. That that would be cool. Or, you know, a ball of light could float out of her like it's Kingdom Hearts. I really need to put that game down for a couple days. Fucking PSP makes it so convenient. But we won! We beat Lennis! Ah, not exactly the hardest of fights, not not as hard as the first Lennis fight. But we get another jeweled crown if you didn't get one bef in, if you didn't pick up the one in the cave, which you can still pick up. So, yeah. What the hell? Huh. Where did my sound go? Huh. So, wait. Wait, you're telling me Meru is... <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to check something. Yeah, it is Meru's Dragoon Spirit. <laughs> That's cold, you heartless bitch, you. No, it means the Dragoon Spirit got lazy and couldn't find someone else more suitable. And for some reason Kongol's not here, but we get the last Dragoon Spirit, the Blue Sea Dragon. Well, the last one that we can get. Right? Oh, come on, Rose. Don't be lame. It's just folklore. Folklore is still win. Yeah, we do. That means Lloyd's gonna get a head start. Fuck. 
Thankfully, Dart survived, and Shauna survived, and I guess it, I should be thankful that Mary was a Dragoon spirit now. I don't know why I should be thankful for that. I'm not. She's like 16, everyone else in my party is like 20. But what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to meet you guys. We have to head back to Fueno. So I'll meet you guys back at the dock where the Queen Fury is. And we're back in Fueno. Um, I neglected to mention this. There's an e enemy you can encounter between the undersea cavern and Fueno called Treasure Jar. If you use a sachet on it, it'll die instantly. You get no experience or gold, but you can get a ruby ring. I don't really care about it, and... There's something much better that we'll be using those sachets to kill later. Just trust me when I say it. You like the ocean. I like video games, man. So, yeah. Come with you on the ocean? Ah, a man of the sea. I like the sound of that, but I can't. We still have much work to do. Tis a shame. Okay. <laughs> Puler is a pretty upbeat guy. But I'm ready to go right now. Let's roll! <laughs> and of course Dart saunters on like, you know, he's fashionably late. And we can make the Queen Fury go whatever place we want now. Including right into a random battle. Stupid screw shell trying to get in one last hurrah. You mean I have to walk from Danau? I have to go through the barrows, the barrens again? One more time? Fine. I'll meet you guys at the Twin Castle in Flets. What's this? We have a scene! Princess Emile is here! And everyone is running towards her. <laughs> Yay! That's great. Yay! Hells yeah! Um... Ow! Hell yeah, all the best for Tiburoa. They lost their big ol', you know, treasure. Albert is... <laughs> no dart, that is the sound of a man in love. Sounds like a plan. Well, gee, that's kind of you. What's this? Oh! You've been waiting for us. Shit. Time to tell him we failed. Not really looking forward to it. <laughs> 